Irreducible complexity is the fundamentalist Christian creationist religious belief that parts of the biosphere on Earth necessitate the hand of the Christian gods to have created them. These creationists, who generally go by the name of intelligent design proponents, use the euphemism intelligent designer when they talk about their gods when they wish to deceive people into believing they are being scientific. The belief in irreducible complexity, however, is not science because it has not been observed to exist and the hypothesis itself is false. <coughs> the creationist Michael Behe proposed the common mousetrap as an analog to what he called irreducible complexity. In his book Darwin's Black Box, Behe claimed to believe that the mousetrap is irreducibly complex. Remove one part, he claimed, and the mousetrap becomes useless for catching mice. Therefore, he concluded, the mousetrap must have been designed by an intelligent designer, which is his phrase for God. The analogy is false because it is not analogous. Mechanical mechanisms are not biological organisms, and they are not subjected to reproductive success, nor descent with modification, nor mutation, nor natural selection. In a word, the attempt to draw an analogy between a mousetrap and a living being is ridiculous. William Dembski is a creationist who has proposed the bacterial flagellum as a feature that is irreducibly complex. His assertion is that it could not have evolved because removing any part of the flagellum would cause the flagellum to cease propelling bacteria around. However, bacterial flagellum are not irreducibly complex. Creationists have presented the mousetrap and the bacterial flagellum as irreducibly complex, citing their current functions as ceasing to function if any part is removed. However, these creationists fail to point out that biological functions themselves evolve. The bacterial flagellum did not always have the functions they have now. This fact is a fatal blow to the irreducibly complex argument. One may disassemble the bacterial flagellum and the flagellum will still have functions. Not the same functions, but other functions. For example, the type 3 secretory apparatus. Amusingly enough, Dembski's example of something that could not have evolved is an excellent example of evolution modifying an existing feature to perform a different task. That is what evolution does, and that is what the bacterial flagellum did. So, are there examples of irreducible complexity in the biosphere? Perhaps, but nobody has found one so far.